In this next video, I want to show you how to add a collapsible product description section to the Shopify store step by step like this. First of all, I'm going to sign in directly into Shopify. Once we are here into Shopify, let's head over to the online store in the left pod and then click into themes. Once we hit here into themes, we'll be adding some custom code to create a collapsible section. But don't worry, I will walk you through it. Even we have a really easily elements. Um, so I'm going to hit first of all into the theme that I wanted to use. And before making any changes, it's a good idea to duplicate your theme as a backup. So for that, let's go for three dots and look how for duplicate. Now here, let's go for rename. And now into this rename, let's say, for example, that this is my Don. But in my case, let's say this is 2.0 because I'm going to be making some changes like a draft. And now here's my copy just in case that I have done something bad. I can go back, of course, into the latest version. Now, what I need to do, of course, is to head directly into auctions and hit the option that says edit the code. Now here, we want to navigate directly into the left part and focus into product liquid. Now, if you don't find the product liquid, you can focus here into the upper side. And here, let's go for product. Now, it totally depends on what kind of theme that you currently have. So you might be seeing like product template or main product. In my case, here is the main product. So look out for it or product template. Now here, we can access the product template file where we're gonna be adding the collapsible code. Clicked into actions, of course, to edit this code. And here, we wanted to find the product template liquid post, and then we're going to scroll to the section of the code where the product description is located. So to do this process much faster, I'm going to leave you a link down below in our description. That link should be leaving you here, into pastebin. Into pastebin is for people who don't know anything about coding, and they just needed like quick solutions, right? So this page is being held helping us to change our description for a collapsible description. So before I just do this process really easy, let's just take a look into how it actually looks our website with no description collapsible. So I'm going to head over to online store themes, the current theme, of course, that I'm currently using into the upper side. I'm going to click inside here, right where it says home page product default product. This is my default product. And of course, I do have to know the description here. I don't see that there's a collapsible element though. So if I go back here, what I need to do once again is to focus into main product liquid. Inside the main product liquid, what you can do is to type the control F to hit here now enabling this bar where I can find. Let's say that I, something is specific for my coding. So in this case, let's say that I type here is one description. Now, if you focused a little bit down below here, you can see that here into the code, we have D I E V and this is where the code starts. And here, this is where the code ends. This is what we actually are looking for. I'm going to head back. I'm going to copy the whole element. Make sure that we are from this to this. I copy it. And down here, first of all, I'm going to delete it like this from diff to diff, not from the first part like for this, right? Delete and I paste my new code. Now I hit for save. And if you see that there is an error or something is not working correctly, that means that the asset has not successfully uh, done automatically. Now, as you can see, the asset is saved. That means that this uh, coding has not been pasted correctly. So what I needed to go here is for my website, I need to reload the page and see if the changes has now been successfully saved. It. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down. And now as you can see, here's my description. Now there's here a little error because there is no description here. So I wanted to make sure that one of my products has of course a description of one product. Let's click into products and let's select, for example, the gift card into the gift card, let's say that I'm going to create an actual description for it. Now here I do have the section that says description. I click on it. And now as you can see, here's my collapsible element of my description. It actually works and it's really easy to use. Now, if you want to cause something um, different, what I can do is to do this manually. 
So to do this manually or a little bit more automated, let's forget about all of this coding. Let's go into the exit. And instead of going for the three dots and going for um, edit the code, go for customize. Now into customize, I can look out once again for my products, my default product aside. And down here, let's say that I have here this product. What I can do is to look out for my product information, add a new block, and here look out for collapsible row. Once I hit the option that says collapsible row, here what you can do is to click into this collapsible row and tell exactly what this product is about. Let's say for example that I just typed a 100% original. Icon, you can change the icon for a check mark, you can change this for an eye, you can change this for a heart, uh, carrot, whatever. So let's go for snowflake, a 100% original. Now row content, this is a original product. There we go. And now as you can see, here's my collapsible row for the specific item here for my product. If you want the entire description to be, uh, become collapsible, then what you can do is to use the code that I just gave you in the description. And that guys is how we can actually do this process in a very easy, easy way. So with that being said, guys, if you have not reached the very end of the video, hopefully this was very useful for you. Don't forget guys to like, to share and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more elements like this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully we can all see you next time.